Life is unfair. Some people have it all. Some people have nothing. But have you ever wondered how those who succeed in life actually get there? Oftentimes we're told that success is a result of persistent hard work, and that we won't get anywhere unless we grind 100 hour work weeks or put in 10,000 hours into doing something. But what if that isn't the case? And actually, those who succeed simply have an unfair advantage over their competitors. Today we're talking about why you and I, yes, even you, have unfair advantages that we can put to use to succeed on Fiverr, in business, and in life. What's up you guys, it's Josh here. I'm a full-time presenter, voice artist, and YouTuber that also sells services on Fiverr. And on this channel, I document my experiences as I navigate this new world of online freelancing. I've already documented my entire Fiverr career here on YouTube, and I'll be bringing you insights that will help you to grow yours. Subscribe to the channel if that's something that interests you. So, I've just finished reading this amazing book called Unfair Advantages, written by these two investors and entrepreneurs, Ash Ali and Hassan Kabar. And the premise of it is that life is fundamentally unfair, and that those who have success in life are usually aware of the unfair advantages that they have, and actually put these advantages to good use. So, successful people aren't only successful because of hard work, but also because of other things like luck, circumstances, and privilege. A YouTuber by the name of Ali Abdal posits the equation that success is a combination of fair play plus unfair advantages. He defines fair play as factors we would look at and think, All right, mate, fair play. For example, let's look at the successful Fiverr seller who wakes up at 4am every day, hits the gym, and then hustles on his freelance business all day and works super hard until he goes to bed. We could look at him and see how hard he is working and how much that hard work is paying off and say, well, yeah, okay, fair play to him. In some way, we all have the ability to replicate exactly what he's doing if we wanted to, and then that would make his advantage fair, right? But with this same successful Fiverr seller, let's say his parents invested $60,000 into education, materials, and equipment, then you would definitely agree that this is an unfair advantage. My parents invested in this microphone, which got me started in voiceover. Cheers, Dad. What this basically highlights is that life is not a level playing field, and that everyone in some sense has some form of unfair advantage that you could utilize in order to be successful. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses. Inherently, these are unfair advantages given to us from birth. Some were born writers or born speakers, for example. Also, your circumstances have the potential to carry huge unfair advantages as well. This could be things like whether you have access to the right network of people, being in the right place at the right time. One important thing to mention is that these unfair advantages are not reserved for the already rich and famous, but in fact, we all have unfair advantages. We just need to find out what they are, and then actually put them to use. So, let's start by taking a look at the unfair advantages that I had when starting my Fiverr account, and also the unfair advantages that I have accumulated as a result of spending the last 18 months working my butt off on this platform. A quick note, none of this is to boast about my Fiverr success, and it should not put you down at all. But rather, I hope it offers insight into the way of thinking that allowed me to put my unfair advantages to use when starting my Fiverr career. I hope that by hearing about my unfair advantages, that it will enable you to start thinking about your own, essentially demystifying the path that you could take to find your own success. So, the number one, the first, and probably one of the most important advantages that I had was the category that I chose to sell in on Fiverr, and that is the spokesperson category. Yes, that's right. Deciding to sell primarily in the spokesperson category was my first unfair advantage on Fiverr. Why? Well, let's take a look at this. So what we're looking at here, this table shows all of the Fiverr seller categories and has ranked them by the amount of services that are offered. As you can see at the very top, we've got graphic and design. And here we have the spokesperson category. There's actually only a small percentage of services offered in this category with only roughly 1,500. So for me to create gigs in this category means that I'm competing with a lot less people. When I first joined Fiverr, I managed to somehow reach page one of the spokesperson category within my first few weeks, which is a massive unfair advantage. It allowed me to gain more exposure early on, get more sales, and increase my ratings. 
Compare that with a brand new seller trying to offer logo design in the graphic design space. And well, they're gonna have a very hard time securing a sale because there are already so many great sellers to buy from. Compare that to someone like me, who's created a service in a category that doesn't really have a lot of competition. Well, I think you can guess which one of us is going to make more sales. Now that I've spent a whole 18 months in this category of spokesperson services, I've built up a reputation with some of the most frequent buyers. And my brand is now known here. So this continues to offer an unfair advantage to me. The next unfair advantage I had is equipment and resources. When I first joined Fiverr in 2019, I already had a bunch of equipment. I was working for a photography company at the time, and I wanted to launch my own photography business as a kind of side hustle. So I bought a DSLR camera, tripod, and a cheap lighting setup from Amazon. And as already mentioned, I already had a nice microphone, which was gifted from my dad, as we're both musicians. And together, all of this equipment enabled me to create a product that was sellable, which was, of course, my spokesperson videos. The equipment I had already obtained over the years became my unfair advantage, as it allowed me to produce a quality product from day one. Now that I've been doing this for 18 months, my equipment continues to be an unfair advantage for me. I reinvest a lot of my profits and continue to upgrade everything as I go which means that I'm able to provide 4K video now, high quality audio, I've got better lighting. I've also upgraded the room that I record in to allow my clients a few more options for their video, like this cool set that I've got here. I've invested in equipment that makes my processes easier, faster, more reliable. All of this allows me to earn more money, but equipment alone is not enough of an unfair advantage, which leads me onto my next one, which is number three, experience. My experiences in life have given me a serious unfair advantage when gunning for success on the Fiverr platform. I didn't join the platform as a complete noob when it came to video and audio production. I was brought up in a household where a recording studio was just another room in the house, like a bedroom or a bathroom. I've been raised by a father who loves to record music. My dad, my granddad also loved home videos and spent a lot of time filming the family and our holidays. And as an adult, I can really appreciate this environment that I was raised in. Because now, creating videos and recording content is just second nature to me. I started my first business at 17, which was recording bands and singers in my bedroom. That grew and grew until I managed to take over the loft in my family home, building a two-room recording studio that served musicians and bands all over the UK. I gained a lot of experience with working with clients, managing money, marketing, and building a brand, and so forth. So that when it finally came to starting a fiber business, I already knew what it would take to create a service that would successfully satisfy clients' needs. And finally, my vast and varied work experience as an employee. Yeah, over the years, I've worked in over 12 jobs, including being an administrator at a private bank in London, been a singing waiter, a light bulb packer, a bin man, insurance advisor, door-to-door -door salesman, professional photographer, just to name a few. This varied work experience taught me the value of work and also gave me a real drive to build a business in something that I care about because being a bin man kind of sucked. This is continuing to be an unfair advantage for me because now I also have 18 months experience on Fiverr. I have 18 months of knowing how the platform works and how clients are going to act. I have 18 months worth of data to look at how my business has performed. And this allows me to make adjustments in order to make improvements. The longer that I'm actually on Fiverr, the more of an unfair advantage that brings to me. As an example, just look at all of these top rated sellers in my category of spokespeople. The majority of those who are top rated and have over 1K plus ratings have been on Fiverr for the most amount of time. You can definitely say that that is their unfair advantage. Okay, so as I stated before, I do not intend to show off by talking about my unfair advantages. And I definitely do not intend to put anybody off from starting a Fiverr business, no matter what circumstances that you are in. But what I do hope to achieve is that you guys can go away and have a look at what unfair advantages you actually have and put them to use. The reason why I'm saying all of this is to show you that Fiverr is not actually a golden chariot to riches. It's actually a useful platform for people to make money offering services that they can provide to an already professional standard. And you shouldn't jump on the bandwagon of offering popular services just because it's earning a ton of money for other people but rather find something that you are good at, something that you have an edge on compared to competitors, and then really go for it. 
So there's this concept which is double down on your strengths. Yeah. Don't try and bring up necessarily from a career point of view or a business point of view, bring up your weaknesses. Yeah. Focus on your strengths, but in your personal life, focus on your weaknesses of where you can bring up your weaknesses. Oh. You need to know what is going to be the path that's least resistance for you. So to, to determine the path of least resistance, you kind of have to know where do you have an unfair advantage. If you want some guidance on how to find your own unfair advantages, then I highly recommend that you actually go out and buy this book as it includes a method of working through and discovering what your advantages are and how you can actually take action. There's a link in the description for that. I also highly recommend Ali Abdal's book review video, which goes into the point of how you can find your advantages in more depth than my video here. Now, as a quick bonus, I just wanted to share with you a quick chat that I had with my good friend Radiston Radif, a fellow Fiverr spokesperson who joined Fiverr only a few months ago. He actually watched my videos on YouTube and decided that he also could become a Fiverr spokesperson himself. So he didn't hesitate and got straight to work creating a profile and now he is making some great consistent sales on the platform and even has gigs that are already ranking higher than mine. Like do you have any kind of like unfair advantages that you yeah. think that you've used? An unfair advantage that I've had is obviously my acting training and uh, my experience that I had in video production and knowing what it is to work with deadlines and uh, be very strict on yourself regarding those deadlines and as well as that I've had loads of experience. Well the biggest unfair advantage I've had is that I didn't look at Fiverr for initially the main source of income. My, my goal with Fiverr was never uh, for it to become my only money. The reason why I started doing Fiverr was because as an actor my goal was really to dominate every single aspect of acting and video presenting, being a presenter is one of those aspects. I think it's very important that you have the right motivation when you're going into something, especially with Fiverr, I think a lot of people go into it having extrinsic motivation. Be like, how much money can I make off of this? How much mm. uh, money? Yeah, how can I replace my normal income through this? Whereas I have had more intrinsic value. How can I get better at this? So, as you can see, Radiston was aware of all of his unfair advantages and doubled down on them when starting his Fiverr business. He didn't go out and try to do something because someone else is doing it. He did it because he knew that he could. So that's the end of this video, guys. Thanks for sticking around to the end. You guys who watched the whole video, that's your first unfair advantage. Your attention span is pretty good. Do leave me a comment below letting me know that you've actually watched all the way to the end. And also tell me, what do you think your unfair advantages are? Thanks again, guys. See you in the next video. Give that a go. Where are we at?